Welcome to Subramani. Uh, this is one day after the uh, great uh, Nirmala Sitaraman super great budget which we got and uh, I, I really don't know what is worse the uh, budget or the uh, ministers in Modi's cabinet starting by saying with the blessings of great Dr. Modi oh, sorry he is not a doctor uh, the great Mr. Modi we have got this fantastic budget which is good for the middle class Ashwini Vaishnav I mean, does Ashwini Vaishnav have to make such a statement? Uh, well, I don't know. Let me not get into too much of commenting about uh, the budget. Nothing in the budget. Except, I think the uh, Institute of Chartered Accountants will find it a delight because while setting exam papers, you can ask questions like um, for equity, what is long term? For debt, what is long term? For real estate, what is uh, for uh, 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 debt, equity, real estate, what is long term? For gold, what is long term? For each asset, you give a different uh, long term, short term, different rates. It is just a great thing for the exam setter because if I were setting exam, I would ask all those questions. Very sadistic, but that is what I would do. How does it really matter in real life whether you hold an asset for one year or two years and why not flat for everything? Why not say two years is long term for equity, for debt, for whatever you want to do, right? No, some is one, some is two. Luckily, now there is no three, but earlier there was three also, right? So, uh, is it a good budget? No, it's not a good budget. Is it a bad budget? No, it's not a bad budget. It is a nothing budget, typical uh, Nirmala Sita Raman budget where nothing uh, is given, nothing is taken. Except that if you are um, rich or middle class, you will pay more taxes. That is the only certainty uh, about the uh, last 10 year budgets. Year on year, I have paid more tax. No, I'm not cribbing about it because some of these taxes are come from profits from PSU companies. So I'm happy to give back to the government what belongs to the government. Uh, it, it was Mr. Adukia or something of the uh, our government who in 2018 said uh, capital gains tax is to be levied simply because there is no effort to get capital gains. Uh, really Mr. Adukia, I'm very impressed by your understanding of economics. Um, and uh, okay, having uh, said all this, um, what is my stand on the budget? Uh, uh, my my stand on the budget is it's a nothing budget, but it reminds me of one very old story. One king, while handing over the kingdom to his son, he says, uh, "Look, treat the people well, treat the people fairly. But even if you don't treat them too well, they will not mind. They will keep coming back to you because once you must have done something good. So you maybe built a temple, maybe you put up some airports or something like that, and so they will keep coming back to you. Don't worry too much." Whenever you need money, just keep raising taxes. So the son can't believe it. Son is well educated and etc. But he's, he becomes a king. And son uh, now wants to conquer. He wants to uh, take over other kingdoms, right? So what do you do? You go to some general, break him. Uh, he then joins you. Then you attack that kingdom and you take a portion of that kingdom. So these kind of uh, uh, raising the size of his kingdom, he kept on doing. And he also realized that uh, when with more uh, kingdom comes more responsibility, more people have to be helped. So all those things he was doing and those chieftains who came uh, with him, uh, who were against that uh, the previous king or the king himself came if it was a small kingdom and uh, came and joined him. They also wanted uh, their share of uh, the taxation etc. So that that money could be used for the development ostensibly everything was for the development of the people so people should not complain that's what he also thought then when he real, realized that for conducting all these wars uh, he needed more money he kept raising taxes people were paying very quietly uh, then one day he sat with his council of ministers and his council of ministers somebody said sir uh, the the people will pay even more tax so he was a little intrigued so he said let me do an experiment he put up a big complaint box um, outside his uh, uh, room uh, or outside the throne or uh, outside the palace and uh, he said anybody who wants to complain should come and complain. But uh, he had also kept a movie camera there. Uh, this was a modern kingdom. He had kept a movie camera there which meant people were a little worried whether uh, their pictures would be clicked and then they would be uh, ostracized or attacked or put in jail. 
because he had a very strong uh, uh, rule enforcing uh, departments right uh, so he had rule enforcing departments he had some uh, uh, some uh, some bureaus which would uh, investigate all those things he also had but he was uh, not treating the people too badly some of the chieftains whom he wanted on his side uh, he would use those video cameras and uh, do things like that so he decided to do an experiment he started collecting money from people for building a bridge and uh, so people paid money they collected uh, money gave it to him and he built the bridge uh, the, it was a very nice bridge and then uh, then he got a little more ambitious so he said uh, uh, let me now charge a toll on that bridge. So some people protested, you know, they made videos and said, oh, but this is a bridge which we funded, right? So why should we pay a toll because we already funded, but then they were very small. And then people happily started paying a toll for using the bridge. Then he increased the toll. He increased the toll so much that every year he was recovering the cost of the bridge and people said, oh, no, no, but this minister who constructed the bridge is fantastic. So therefore, you know, for the infrastructure that we get, we should pay for it. So what were you paying taxes? No, no, these are questions which uh, the others, the elders in the place said, no, no, don't ask these questions. Uh, you know what all he has done for us, he has built up a temple which nobody could build for the last 500 years. He has given grains to so many people, so many people are being fed. So one of the younger boys said, uh, but uh, isn't this our money which is going to feed them? Is he paying out of his pocket? He said, hush, hush, don't ask these questions. These are not questions which you should be asking. So then the bridge, after some time, uh, he got a little restless. He, he had nothing much to do. So he called his home minister uh, and his finance minister and he said, uh, we should... Uh, uh, do something more for the people. They said, no, 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 people don't need all that. You, you, you remember you build the temple, you remember you build those uh, airports. Uh, you, people are very happy with what you have already done. So now don't, you don't have to do anything. So, and he had some fantastic advisors who had told him that uh, the uh, capital gains, etc. happens without any effort. You just go put some money and it grows after some time. Sometimes it doesn't grow, that's okay. But whatever they are earning, you can charge them 25% uh, capital gains tax. He said, no, no, I don't want to charge 25%. Uh, let me charge just 12.5%. So he was uh, doing that. But then now he came, comes back to the bridge and says, um, what, can we, what more can we do? So then he says, uh, then he puts up a complaint box at the toll gate also and keeps increasing the toll. Nothing happens. Then he says, um, uh, I will slap every person while going up on the bridge. So people are very intrigued, but then they accept it. So while they are standing there, uh, the government has employed people, the king has employed some people to slap the person from go while going up the bridge. So after a few days, uh, he finds uh, very happily that uh, in his complaint box, which he had kept, uh, there is a complaint. Uh, so he calls his father and says, look, uh, dad, uh, there is somebody who has complained. At last, people are waking up to the fact that uh, I'm charging them too much uh, toll, etc. So the father says, no, see, I know that uh, you, you think people have changed. People may not have changed. Just open the letterbox uh, and see what is the letter. So very happily, he opens the letterbox and sees what is it. Uh, and then he finds that there is genuinely a complaint. One of the persons going up the bridge uh, has complained saying, uh, Sir, uh, uh, I don't mind being slapped. Uh, he does not even talk like that. He just says, uh, uh, please employ more people to slap because otherwise there is a big queue being formed and we are getting late to go to office. So please employ more people. Then he realizes, oh, this is what it is. You know, people want to be slapped uh, quickly so they, they can go up. So the tolerance level in this country, he realizes very low. Uh, sorry, is very high, so they will tolerate anything. So only older people like uh, me would tell you, I have actually handled cases where people would, uh, one uh, old uh, Parsi gentleman would die. He would have a nice bungalow in uh, Marine Lines or one of those places. Uh, and uh, his wife would pay a huge amount as estate duty. Six months later, she would die and the person inheriting would again have to pay estate duty on the same property. They had not even uh, given a provision by which there could be some set off for the uh, estate duty already paid on that, right? So that is how draconian the laws were 
this was Indira Gandhi with her very able economic advisor, Mr. Blue Patka. Uh, I don't want to name him. Uh, he said uh, history will judge him better. Uh, I will not. Uh, because some of you may have seen him only uh, in uh, Mr. Narasimha Rao's cabinet uh, and then as a Prime Minister also or when he used to report to Sonia Gandhi. Uh, I am trying to make it non-political but I just can't help uh, this, sorry. Uh, so that is, that is how tolerant the people are and they, they were paying how much tax? 97% income tax and 5% wealth tax which means at a, after the marginal rate if I got 100 rupees 97 went to the government and another 5 went to the government at the end of the year when I was paying wealth tax. It made no sense. In fact, I remember Nani Palkiwala saying well, why doesn't the government keep the uh, income and I will keep the tax, right? It made sense. So instead of raising a bill, you say just pay it to the government and I will collect the tax uh, from the government, right? You could have done that. Uh, well, nothing like that happened. Uh, we happily paid the taxes or sadly paid the taxes. That was the only choice for people who were uh, earning. I mean, I keep saying all my income is in white, all my expenses in white. So the gap between income and expense is the tax that I pay. Do we have too much of a choice? The answer is no. Uh, will Babus continue to tax like this? Yes. Could they have raised this kind of money which they wanted to raise by changing, tweaking that long term capital gain from 10 to 12 and a half? Could they have done that by selling say 3% or 4% in Hindustan Aeronautics? Yes. But to think like an entrepreneur, you have to be an entrepreneur. You cannot be a salaried a Babu and uh, think like an entrepreneur. You just can't. So the, can, could the government have sold 5% in uh, Hindustan Aeronautics, NTPC, BHEL, any SBI, anything, doesn't matter. Nobody is going to ever fight the government. If I know that the government's stake in State Bank of India is only 30%, do you think any FII or any Indian individual is going to uh, raid SBI and try to take it over with the government owning 30%? No, impossible. People don't even try it with big groups, right? You, will you raid a Murugappa group company because they are holding only 35%? No, 35% is more than enough. So could the government have raised money doing that? Yes. Do they, did they need to do any of these things? No. Can they come out with one comprehensive bill saying we will implement this from 2025? saying this is how long term will be, this is how short term will be, this is how uh, salary uh, or the income will be indexed for taxation, right? Could they have done all that? Yes, they can do all that, direct tax code, remember? But they will not. Every year they will want to come and tell you, look, I did you a favor. Uh, I have uh, increased the long term capital gains from 1 lakh to 1 lakh 25,000, it is tax free. Hello, five years back, if you set it, you have just adjusted it to inflation. That's it. You have not done a favor. Second, another important thing which I like uh, or don't like about this government is, uh, well, I am not talking about the government, uh, the kingdom, remember the kingdom that I was talking about. Uh, in that kingdom, the king would give a lot of money to a lot of poor people and feed them and that he would always say, uh, I gave you the grains, I gave you the houses, I gave you the water connection and one of the young kids uh, asked his father, uh, Dad, isn't it that our tax money which is being used to give them all this, so why does he say he is giving? He said, hush, hush, don't ask these questions. Thank you.